Hello, 大家好，欢迎回到 Day Translations. 我是 Kyle 老师 In the last lesson, we learned about the question particle ma and its use in forming yes or no questions. In today's lesson, we're going to cover another basic question particle as well as introduce our first true question word. So let's get started. In the beginning of most Mandarin learning programs, you'll start with basic introductions, and this will typically include asking someone for their name. In Chinese, to ask for someone's name, you can say, "ni jiao shen me ming zi." "Ni jiao shen me ming zi." "Shen me" is the question word for what, and "ming zi" is the noun for name. So, "ni jiao shen me ming zi." Literally means you are called what name or what's your name. Now, if you still remember the SVO structure from before, you'll notice that the question word "shema" here is attached to the noun "mingzi" for name in the object's position at the end of the sentence. This is because in Chinese, the question word "shema" is a pronoun. Therefore, it's attached to and becomes a part of the object during questioning. So we've actually already learned a few ways to answer this question. You could either say "wo jiao" or "wo shi," followed by your name. However, in most cases, a native speaker will probably just use the same verb from the question. "Ni jiao shen me ming zi," "wo jiao Kyle." Notice where the answer for your name is swapped into the sentence. It's literally replacing the entire noun phrase "shema means for what name" in the object's place. This is why Chinese grammar is so much easier than English grammar. For "what is your name?" the question word is in the beginning, and for "my name is Kyle," the answer comes at the end. In Chinese, words don't just jump around the sentence like this. Instead, they're locked into a specific position. Based on their grammatical function, therefore the question words and their answers will be in the same place. 你叫什么名字？我叫 Kyle. Taking this one step further, let's now look at how to ask for somebody's last name. In Chinese, there are two ways we can do this. The first way being more casual. You can say 你姓什么？ Xing is a verb that means to be surnamed, and similar to jiao, it must be followed by an object. So, ni xing shen ma literally means you are surnamed what. And the second way to ask for someone's last name is much more formal. You can say, ni gui xing, ni gui xing. Gui is actually an adjective that has the meaning of honorable, and when gui and xing are put together, they kind of form a question themselves. Therefore, you don't need a question word like shema at the end. You could just say ni gui xing, and that literally means what is your honorable surname or what's your last name. Now, if you are the one being questioned, whether they ask you ni xing shema or Ni gui xing. Some good news here. You can answer these the exact same way by simply saying "wo xing," followed by your last name. So let's try a little practice here. Ni xing shen ma. Wo xing. Good. Ni gui xing. Wo xing. Good job. And lastly, I promised you another question particle, and there's a reason why I waited until the end to introduce this. That's because when people ask you questions like "What's your name?" or "What's your last name?", after giving the answer, it's really common to follow up with a simple phrase like "How about you?" or "And yours?". In Chinese, we can do the exact same thing by saying "Ni na," "Ni na." Na is a question particle that indicates a previously asked question is to be applied to the preceding word, typically following ni for you. Ni na can be literally translated as "How about you?" or "What about you?" 
A simple example of this, imagine you ask me, 你叫什么名字? What's your name? I respond by saying, 我叫Kyle. 你呢? Which means, my name's Kyle. What about you? So what could you say if I ask you, 你姓什么? 我姓。你呢? 我姓Strickland. 你呢? Pretty easy, right? That's all I have for you in this lesson. If you missed those videos where I covered the SVO structure and the ma particle for yes or no questions, please go back and watch those so you can get caught up. And like always, if you enjoyed the content in this video, hit that like button, leave me all your questions in the comments, and subscribe if you're new. Once again, 我是凯尔老师, 下个视频见。